Good morning, everybody. I warmly welcome all of you to this Global Ethics Forum 2016. It's the sixth edition, and if we count also the first one where we are not owner but co-organizer uh, uh, in 2010, it's the seventh one. Yeah, it's a great pleasure to have you from all continents, from the whole world, together again for a Global Ethics Forum. It's the, as you have seen already, in this nutshell, you have the program already seen. In this nutshell, you see that this year, we will talk about ethics in higher education, or more precisely, higher education ethics in action. We emphasize this word action not in the activist sense, but in the sense that we want to come to implementation. Now, a conference is not itself already an implementation. It's a start of an implementation. But let me <clears throat> say a few words about this topic. When you look at the news, and we will hear much more, of course, that's why I'm very brief on that. Plagiarism, uh, all these uh, scandals that you see and hear, all that is somehow in our brain and in our hearts. But we have a lot of positive efforts also much interest in the topic. Many people say, yes, we need to do something. The thirst of people for integrity, to look at people they can believe in, is very big. So leadership role of higher education is key. Because we all know, even if we believe in bottom up, top-down is important. So higher education, they set the tone in society. If a rector, a vice-chancellor, is behaving in a certain way, it gives a signal for society, positive or negative. Now, before I continue in presenting, uh, I would like to invite uh, to show a short welcome of Mr. Fust. Unfortunately, he cannot be with us, but he addresses us with this uh, welcome message. Dear participants, ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, I am in Africa, I am in Botswana, as I am the chairman of the African Innovation Foundation and this country celebrating its 50th anniversary of independence. And they set the date for our connectors meeting of the community of innovators in Africa on this very week. So please uh, understand that I had to make a decision. I, the decision is not for or against the Global Ethics Forum, not at all. The Global Ethics Forum is for me a very, very important forum of Global Ethics family to meet people. And I shall be happy to be back for the board meeting coming uh, Saturday. I want to greet you at the opening of uh, this uh, forum and wish you a very good participation, wish you a rich networking event, and I wish you good and fruitful dialogues. I hope to see all of you in a way or another in the future, and I trust that you will bring your knowledge your experience to this very, very important meeting. Uh, Globe Ethics has the honor uh, to organize. All the best. Thank you very much. 
Ambassador Walter Fust was for eight years now president, and uh, we will say more about that. He will have a second message this evening, this late afternoon, for the what we call the handover ceremony. Um, he is a famous figure in the world uh, in development. He is, uh, was the former, in other countries, you would call him Minister of Education. Here we call him Secretary General of uh, Swiss Development Corporation. And uh, as you have seen in the video, he's still very much demanded around the world, from the UN to uh, Asia to Africa. He's uh, everywhere uh, still asked with his wisdom. And we are very honored to have him uh, as president or to have him as president uh, in our midst. Yes, let us come back to the topic, higher education and ethics. This is not by chance, just randomly, we think, yeah, what is the next theme we could choose? It is very strategically. And we have developed the strategy 2016 to 2020 of Globe Ethics Net last year. You see it here and you have it also in your folder. It just came out uh, and the topic is values-driven leadership for life and sustainable development. And we discussed a lot about what is the mission of Globe Ethics Net in the next five years, what is needed, and also what can we do in this worldwide community of 170,000 people who are uh, registered in our network as participants, and how can we also focus? And we do it by concentrating on four items and you see the four photos uh, in, the midst, in the middle which are representing these four sectors. Uh, you see students uh, on their laptops looking for information. They are sitting in a physical library but they use an online library. You see uh, ladies, uh, both are here by the way, uh, um, from China and Indonesia on dialoguing, interfaith dialogue, intercultural dialogue. You see an entrepreneur who was our board member, the co-founder of the largest IT company in India, Infosys, who was our board member. The entrepreneurs, what is the entrepreneurial responsibility in this world? And you see on the right side, the action. What can we do practically in uh, preserving uh, this earth. And we do that in a special way. And I want to show you something which came out just from print yesterday. And you will see it also on the screen. We try to define in this strategy the values-driven leadership for life and sustainable development, the blue one, uh, you find it also on the back of your of the strategy in your folder. Uh, here on the back, you see it. Values driven leadership for life and sustainable development is our motto, so to say, our headline for the next five years. Sustainability, we will see more uh, this morning already. Uh, about it is the, and then values driven leadership means we want to support leadership on all levels. We all are leaders, also as parents are leaders, for example. Um, and then we want to do it in four thematic areas. If you look at the yellow one, educational and research ethics, the interreligious and um, uh, ethics and theology. And you see the interactive way. You have that on the website. You will be able to play around that uh, with your own, um, not fingers, but with a touch screen. Um, so, or with a, with a mouse. So you can recombine, but I want to continue first. We have the third thematic area is public services and political ethics. So ethics in public services, and the fourth is ethics in uh, economy and environment. That's the four themes, 
And these four themes are then linked also to four target groups. So we have the, the educational sector, of course. Uh, we have the uh, political sector or public sector. Uh, we have the religious sector, so religious leaders in plural means uh, interfaith is very strong in our network. And we have the business sector as a key actor also for development. That's the red one. And then we have the green one. These are the instruments. What are the hands we have to implement? So we have the knowledge on top, the library. Online library is our main instrument in order to promote ethics. We have then the uh, research and publications uh, as a key um, uh, instrument. We then have the dialogue and network. What we are doing here in a conference, we are not only providing you with the, the written material but, or videos, but with uh, dialogue and the network of these 170,000 participants. And we have action and services. These are special projects that we have. This is just, in a nutshell, very brief about our uh, strategy. Now, the character of this forum, coming back to the forum, is that we have a multi-stakeholder conference. We are people from the different sectors, even though, due to the theme this year, a majority come more from the academic sector. That's by, by um, uh, yeah, self-explaining. Another characteristic of our forum is we are interactive. So we are listening a lot in plenary, but please use the chance in the laptops, in the labs, not in the laptops, in the work groups, laboratory means interact, develop together things. Uh, we don't want to just be uh, teaching the world what is right and wrong. We develop it together. It's a participatory approach. The third characteristic is solution-oriented. We are not blaming around the world about the world how bad it is. We say, what can we do? What can we uh, contribute for solutions? And the fourth characteristic, value-driven. Of course, the perspective we want to bring in is values. How can values help to improve the world? Now, on the program of the conference, I don't have to say much more. You have seen it in the teaser at the beginning. Plenary group work, special events like the inauguration of uh, the new director this uh, late afternoon, uh, very important, and then the book launch tomorrow. So this is the mixture, and use also the breaks, of course, for interaction. Now I come to the participants, and I would like to have a short uh, exercise to see a bit who are here. Um, I'd like to start with, to stand up all the students and volunteers. Most of the volunteers are students, not all. Please stand up. Uh, it's a, a large group of uh, people. Then, um, who, you can sit down, the, who among you are teaching staff in a university on whatever levels, uh, teaching staff uh, in uh, education, can also be primary. You see, a large uh, number. <laughs> who among you are in a leadership position in a university, vice chancellors, deans, um, uh, management team members should stand up. Yeah, you see uh, a good number. So if we have to blame universities, we will blame you. Uh, that's the easiest. Okay. Um, then we have, uh, of course, our staff, regional programs of Globethics Net and national contacts. Uh, stand up. So you can stand up more than once if you have different roles. Thank you very much. That's very important. Uh, uh, yeah, some are shy to stand up, but uh, they are mo mo mainly, uh, probably the most uh, important, yeah. Now, 
I like to uh, give a picture of uh, some other characteristics. Who among you likes books? Please stand up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, some do not like, but the majority <laughs> like. Okay. Um, who among you have a dog or a cat? Is part of your emotions, huh? <laughs> Yeah, not so many, but still. Um, who among you has two mobile phones? Please stand up. <laughs> yeah. Especially the Africans have two. <laughs> um, who among you is from Africa? Yeah. Thank you. Very strong. Uh, Delegation, of course, it has to do with uh, my successor as director. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, from Asia. Yeah, there are more, we know. Thank you very much. Uh, from the Americas, or North and South America. Thank you. Uh, from Europe. Yeah. But we know Europe means also those who see, stay in Europe but come from other parts of the world, especially Geneva. So thank you very much. Uh, and I like to, no, I said the Americas, yes. I have here four globes. And I think we are dealing like we had more than one globe. Huh? We play around, we think, yeah, we can deal with it because if one is missing or cracking down, you have another one. But we all know it's not the case, of course. But use that just as a little game. I pass it, and uh, you can show you to your neighbors while we continue to speak just where you are from. Because if you say Indonesia, you may know yeah, somewhere in there. But Java is a special place among the 3,000 islands. So you will show where Java is for those who do not know where Java is. OK, I give you some of this, and you can, uh... oh, excellent. <laughs> and one here. OK, you pass it around. 